Good morning you guys and welcome back to our channel. I am just getting ready for the day going through my skincare routine and of course my battery is blinking. Hold on. All right, I'm back. That always happens. So today's video is going to be a get it all done with me getting everything done on my to-do list for today, which I don't even have a set plan or a list. I mean, I have a mental list of everything that I need to get done. But the first thing that I am going to get done is, or going to do, I should say, is I have promised Aria that we were gonna get our nails done. I went ahead and got my nails done this weekend because two of them started to come off, but I told her I would still take her. So we're actually going to ride our bikes to the nail salon. I'm gonna ride my Velo Trick bike. Actually, I have to get my toenail fixed because part of the polish came off already. And then I'm not really sure what we have planned for the rest of the day. I know I have a ton of laundry I have to put up and I know there's some stuff that Frank has to get done around the house, but I kind of just wanted to do a quick intro, let you guys know what we're up to today, what to expect for today's video. And I hope that you guys enjoy. So I'm gonna finish putting my skincare products on and I will see you guys here. A little bit. Here's my ride of choice today. Instead of taking my car to go to the nail salon, we are riding our bike. So a little bit of an adventure today on top of saving gas. How do you feel about it? Cool, I guess. Cool? Yeah? You don't, you don't care either way? No. No. <laughs> go ahead and turn it on. Frank was actually just charging it for me, so it should have some good charge to it. Yes. If not, you'll have to ride good. your bike. Just like well, that. yes, if it does run out, at least I can just ride it like a normal bike. We're ready to go? Yeah. Ready to go. Really quickly before we leave though, I just wanted to say a huge thank you to Velatric for sponsoring today's video. CVS, got some water, Ari got a snack, we parked our bikes over there. So now we just have to go to the nail salon, which is right down the road, but we're definitely feeling this Carolina heat right now. We just got her nails done. Let me see, she ended up getting the same color as mine, but she got a cute lightning bolt on a ring finger on both and the same on our toes too. You like it? Yeah, we're just trying to hydrate before getting back on our bikes. We made it. High five. I think I put four miles because when we started it was 13 and now I'm at 17. We went four miles today. Oh my, my trusty old Bellatrix. So even though it was so hot today, we still had a blast and loved riding our bikes instead of driving to the nail salon. Like I told you guys, not only is it a great way to save gas, but also the whole riding experience was amazing because not only is the Velotric bike so comfortable, but we absolutely love the convenience of it as well. I've told you guys before, Frank and I have even rode our bikes to Starbucks. So I can't wait to see where else our Velotric bikes will take us. If you guys are interested in checking out their e-bikes, I will be leaving a link in my bio as well as a coupon so you guys can save some money on your own e-bikes as well. So after that bike ride, I definitely worked up an appetite. I am so hungry now so I just heated up some leftover Asian glazed meatballs I did a recent what's for dinner video with this full recipe if you guys want to check it out but I'll also leave the link to the recipe down in the description as well and then I just put some green onions sesame seeds and sriracha on top and then heated up some sauteed green beans as well so this is gonna be my lunch the kids already ate Aria we stopped at CVS to get that granola bar for her so she ate that already and then the girls Harlow and Scarlett saw that we got our nails done. Well, I got mine done two days ago, but since Ari got hers done, they want me to paint their nails. So I'm gonna do that after that. And then I gotta get some housework done. 
So naturally, after the girls saw that Aria got her nails done from my one-on-one -on -one time with her, they wanted to get a manicure as well. So I set them both down and we had a little nail time and I painted their nails. And actually, surprisingly, they did really, really good until we got to the toes. Then we started smearing the nail polish everywhere and then it became a huge mess. If you've ever painted a toddler's toes or fingernails, then you know exactly what I'm talking about. Um, but for the most part, they did do pretty good. And we have had these tents set up in Nolan's room for weeks now, I think for at least a few weeks. And the kids have loved it, but it has taken over Nolan's room. And we're like, okay, we're gonna go ahead and put them up. So I let Frank do that. So while he did that, I went ahead and put up Nolan's clothes. And then I moved into the girls' room and started putting away their clothes as well. I noticed while I was going through all of the girls' drawers and all of their bottoms that I noticed that their swimsuit drawer, well, it's like their swimsuit slash summer, so summer and winter drawer, I noticed that all of their swimsuits were all disorganized, so I went ahead and took them all out, refolded them, reorganized, so that is what I am doing here. On this day, it was actually towel day and I washed all of the kids' towels and robes. I'm just kidding you guys, you know me when it comes to my laundry. I don't have designated days, so I think I literally just threw a whole bunch of stuff in there, but partially was the kids' towels. So just hanging those up and putting away any other towels. So for dinner, I'm actually making a new recipe tonight. I'm making, it's called Huli Huli Chicken. I hope I'm saying that correctly, but basically Hawaiian chicken. And I found this recipe on Pinterest. It's supposed to be like the easy version. So you guys will have to let me know if you've ever tried it before or 
if you try it because you guys watched me make it and how you liked it. So we're gonna first make the sauce or the marinade for the chicken, which calls for ketchup, and I'll leave the exact measurements and everything down below. Soy sauce, rice vinegar, ginger, and garlic, and then I am using boneless, skinless chicken thighs for my chicken. I have, oh, brown sugar, you're gonna need some brown sugar for the sauce as well. And then we're also gonna grill up some pineapple with it. I'm gonna cut these up into slices and then also steam some veggies. But the first thing I'm gonna do is go ahead and make the sauce. I forgot to mention this earlier, but after you marinate your chicken in the sauce that you made, you're also going to get a cooking brush, and as you're grilling it, and at the time we had run out of propane, so we just brought out my skillet or cast iron skillet grill, which is just as good as grilling. Not quite as good, but just as good. You're gonna get those nice grill marks, but um, as I was cooking the chicken, I just went with the brush and just put some more and more of that marinade on it. Don't worry, I know the chicken was soaking in there, but because it is so hot, it's going to cook out all the nasty bacteria and everything. Um, but if you don't feel comfortable, obviously you can make a separate sauce. All right guys, so here's how dinner turned out. Steamed some broccoli, got some basmati rice, the huli huli chicken. I haven't tried it yet, but I'm really excited. I'll let you guys know if I like it or not. And then I just put some grilled pineapple on top. So after making the holy holy chicken, especially on the cast iron, oil and sauce and marinade got all over our stove and backsplash. So I'm just using my favorite stainless steel cleaner. I know I've showed it before and I'll link it down below as well. But if you use that with, <laughs> you guys hear Fletcher. Trying to do this voiceover with him right now, um, but if you use that with the microfiber cloth I'm telling you guys it will clean stainless steel like no other and then I just use an all-purpose spray on our backsplash But now I'm gonna finish cleaning up the rest of the kitchen
guys will have to definitely let me know in the comments down below has it been really hot where you live i mean i know it's summer but it has been getting so hot here in the carolinas i know we've had a heat wave it's been like a hundred degrees heat index up to 110 degrees it's almost too hot for the kids to even play outside like we usually have to wait into the afternoon when it cools down a little bit for them to play outside but um, I don't know that just remind me of cleaning that glass door because I have to clean it every single day from the kids being in and out I don't have to but I choose to I should say um, but lately here they have not been playing outside as much because it has been so hot and I've seen a lot of you guys talking about it on Instagram a lot of people that I follow on Instagram and um, it's almost unbearable like I tried to run some errands earlier today I was sweating the whole time. You guys know me, I'm a cold natured person. I can stay pretty comfortable, but I was legit sweating. But um, speaking about playing outside, Fletcher played outside barefoot, which is honestly, in my opinion, the best way to play outside. Um, but I had to wipe his little dirty feet and clean his hands off because he was pretty dirty. But I actually ended the night. This is the gonna be towards the end of my get it all done with me with a workout. I'm still trying to prioritize this, even though the kids are officially home from summer it's been hard I usually do it at night we do have air conditioning in our garage so thankfully I'm able to do it out there and not be burning up but before I let you guys go I just wanted to remind you guys to check out Bellotrix e-bikes I will be leaving a link and a discount down below for you guys so please check that out if you guys are interested in their e-bikes and I just want to say thank you guys so much for watching we appreciate it so so much and I will see you guys in our next video bye guys Thank you.